You're watching Telecom TV from TIP Summit 2019 in Amsterdam. And joining me now is Attilio Zani, who is Executive Director of TIP. Attilio, what is TIP's objective? What are you bringing to the telecoms industry? Well, TIP is a collaboration of organizations, telecoms operators, vendors, systems, integrators, who have got a common vision, and that common vision is to change the way that we ideate, create, and deploy telecoms infrastructure at scale. And what do we mean by open infrastructure? Well, really it's a, a, a means of creating in the open together. Right? So, so having an open system means disaggregating the hardware and the software and, and giving options of flexibility to the telco community in order to, to deploy networks hardware and software in a, in a slightly different way than they have done in the past. What's the headline news from this year's TIP Summit? Well, well first of all, just on, on the event side of things, there are more people here and we're very excited about that. What's really interesting is there are a lot of new people here, right? And so we're, we're seeing the, the usual faces coming back again, but we're seeing new people coming in as well, really wanting to understand what we have to offer. So some of the key things that I think they've come to listen to are uh, the, the announcements from Vodafone and Telefonica and Rakuten about the signals for commercial demand for the solutions that our members in the vendor community are offering. And have you launched any new project groups for this year? Yeah, so the project groups are there to identify whether there is demand in the marketplace for a solution and then rapidly prototype and, and get to the stage where we can deploy commercial products. Now, what we're looking to do is achieve an end-to-end -end network environment and we will achieve that. It's an inevitability that we foresee. And to enable that, what we're doing is having a number of project group initiation meetings this week and, and those are what we call birds of a feather meetings around security, around edge computing, around uh, network as a service, all of these areas that are necessary for us to understand more thoroughly about what demand there is, what solutions are needed, and just because we've had a birds of a feather meeting doesn't necessarily mean that we have a project group of that title, but it gives us the opportunity to, to take in insights and then deliver the, uh, the, the project groups that are necessary to overcome the problems that it, operators and service providers are having in their own network environments. And you also announced the launch of the TIP Exchange. Well, the TIP Exchange is really the very core of what we do from a commercial perspective. Once we've got something through the ideation and creation process within TIP, the output needs somewhere where it can be found. And very simply put, we're, we're introducing supply of those outputs with demand, not only in our membership, but much broader around the world. And we're seeing great demand already from both sides of this supply chain. The vendors that are not listed on the, on the exchange at the moment are complaining and desiring strongly that they want to be on there. And the, on the operator community, we're seeing already, we launched today, we're already seeing interest in what's available. TIP has a lot of members, but how do you ensure more participation from this group and not just rely on a handful of the larger operators? Well, I, I think there are going to be some operators around the world that don't necessarily have a, an ambition to lead the, the creation process, but they absolutely desire to have input to the requirements gathering. So I think that's for everybody. We'd love to hear what the requirements are from a broader set, an increasingly broad set of members from the operator community. Um, there are operators who really do want to lead and drive, and you've mentioned a few of them already, who actually want to be the ones leading the charge in creating the products and services that are necessary for the future use cases that they see are necessary that, for them to be increasingly relevant in the future in their business. And what should we expect to see from TIP in the coming 12 months? I think new project groups you will be seeing. Um, greater commercialization will be evident. Um, a, a, a greater focus on hearing and facilitating engagements in regions around the world. The, the mission that we're on is a truly global one. And to be truly global, we have to be listening and present with our members and our potential members around the regions of the world. Atilio, thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much.